you ever been in a VR AR experience and you feel that you cannot control anything around, that you didn't have any influence on what happens in the experience? Well, that's probably because the sense of agency you got from that experience is very low. Today, I'm going to explain you what is agency and why does it matter for a VR AR experience. So let's begin. Welcome to another tutorial. I'm Daniel from Research and Reality. Today, I want to talk to you about the sense of agency and VR. So let's define agency. In the context of XR, agency refers to the user's ability to have control, make choices, and take actions within a virtual or an augmented environment. It involves a sense of empowerment and the feeling that one's action has an impact on that virtual world. So now, I would like to connect the sensation of agency with the literator of Janet Murray. Now, as we mentioned before, the sense of agency refers to the feeling of control over actions and their consequences. Now, what Janet Murray proposed in her book Hamlet on the Holiday is that when we have immersive environments, people on immersive environments demand for active participation. Once we give them on the environment and active participation, this transforms in a sort of tangible results. And these tangible results are actually known as the sensation of agency. And this sensation of agency actually produces a satisfying power on users. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that you have to give all the control to the people in a virtual environment, but there should be a balance between what people can control and what you want to control as the creator of that experience. Agency could be manifested and implemented in VR in multiple forms. The first one is actually manipulating interactive objects. Where in VR, users can have objects and you can hold an object, you can move it around, examine it, and put it in different ways and different forms. For example, in a clue game, you hold an object and you have to put it in a specific form that actually produces a sensation of agency. Now, agency can be manifested also in a form of decision making. For example, if you have branching narratives or kaleidoscopic narratives in a VR storytelling experience, mm -hmm. and user can actually choose which decision take, and those decisions actually have an impact on the storytelling, then that also produces a sensation of agency. Agency can be also manifested in a form of a spatial interaction or in the way that the user actually navigates the space. Players will have a different type of locomotion or different forms of navigation on the space and that also produces a sensation of agency or is involved in this sensation of agency. Agency could be also shown in a form of social interaction or collaboration. For example, if you have multiplayer experiences such as multiplayer games or social activities in a virtual environment, you can actually feel the sensation of agency if you have to take decisions together with other people or if you have uh, to compete with other people and that has an impact on the experience that also produces or is especially involved with a sensation of agency. And lastly, user-generated content and customization also also influence this sensation of agency. For example, if you choose which characters you, can, you want to perform or which role you want to perform, uh, which spaces you want to choose to navigate and also customize your own avatar is related to this sensation of agency. So these examples actually illustrate how agency can be implemented in VR and AR experiences, enabling users to actively participate, make choices and actually have an impact on that virtual or meta environment. If you're curious about the sensation of agency and you would like to know more, I would like to recommend you some authors and also literature. The first one is one of the early discussions uh, from Brenda Laurel, which is called Computers as Theater, which discusses actually how we can encourage participations on users in this type of storytelling. The second one is from Mel Slater, and he explores the relationship between agency and presence, and particularly how agency influences the sensation of presence. The third one is from Jaron Lanier, which is one of the creators of VR, and where he explores the potential of empowered users. And the last one is from Steve Benford, which also explores the interactive storytelling, uh, evaluating interactive narratives, and that provides a sensation of agency and influence the story. So that's about the sensation of agency. If you like this type of content, please subscribe, and thanks for watching, and see you next time.